the world's oceans are breaking heat records for another year in a row. An international group of scientists has published quite disturbing data about the state of the oceans. According to them, the oceans have never been hotter in the history of measurements than they are now. What's more, they continue to accumulate a huge amount of heat. And this trend is visible for the sixth year in a row. The latest report on the state of the Earth's oceans is the work of 23 researchers from 14 institutions around the world. It was published in, Advances in Atmospheric Sciences. In it, the authors summarized two datasets. From the Institute of Atmospheric Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and from the National Environmental Information Centers of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. The observations include measurements of ocean heat since the 1950s. The heat content of the oceans continues to increase around the world and is a major indicator of human-induced climate change, said Kevin Trinberth of the National Center for Atmospheric Research. In Colorado, one of the paper's authors, in the latest report, we updated ocean observations to 2021. While reanalyzing and processing previous data, the researchers also considered the role of various natural changes, such as the warming and cooling phases known as El Niño and La Nina, which have a large impact on regional temperature changes. According to the analyzed data, the world's oceans are getting hotter. This trend is visible for the sixth year in a row. A data update showed that the 2,000-meter-high ocean upper layer absorbed 14 zeta joules, Zeta is the unit prefix of 10 to the power of 21, or a trillion, one followed by 21 zeros, more in 2020 than in 2020, which is 145 times the world's electricity production in 2020. For context, all people around the world consume about half a Zeta Joule in one year. The ocean currently absorbs, apart from heat, 20 to 30 percent of the carbon dioxide emitted by humans, leading to ocean acidification. However, ocean warming reduces the efficiency of carbon sequestration and leaves more CO2 in the air, said Lijing Cheng of the Institute of Atmospheric Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and lead author of the paper. Monitoring and understanding thermal and carbon coupling going forward is important for tracking climate change mitigation targets, he added. According to Chen, regional analyzers show strong and significant ocean warming since the late 1950s is occurring everywhere. Nevertheless, regional marine heatwaves have a huge impact on marine life. In addition, CO2 absorbed by the oceans acidifies the water, worsening the living conditions of marine ecosystems. According to the authors of the study, the data clearly show that the additional heat absorbed by the oceans is caused by the climate crisis. Through model experiments, our study shows that the warming pattern of the ocean is the result of changes in atmospheric composition associated with human activities, said Chen. Warmer oceans, recharge, weather systems, causing stronger storms and hurricanes, as well as increasing precipitation and the risk of flooding, he added. Mutations in genes do not always lead to negative changes. Some can improve the intellect. Gene mutations can lead to serious and dangerous changes in the human body. But not always mutations have a negative effect. German scientists using fruit flies showed that some mutations can have a positive effect, such as a higher IQ. German neuroscientists have discovered that some gene mutations can lead to the improvement of some functions at the expense of others. 
Professor Tobias Langenen from the University of Leipzig and Professor Manfred Heckmann from the University of Würzburg became interested in cases of blindness caused by a type of mutation that damages a synaptic protein. Researchers noted that patients who lost their sight also had above-average intelligence, which seemed to be the result of a mutation. The results and description of the research were published in the journal, Brain. To put it simply, the basis of our brain's work are neurons and synapses, i.e. connections between neurons. One neuron connects to another through a synapse. A good connection between neurons means that information in the brain is transmitted efficiently. At the same time, when information flows through synapses on a regular basis, it automatically changes them so we can remember and learn. The more the synapse is stimulated, the stronger the connection and the greater the ability to learn and remember. In other words, synapses are a kind of contact points in the brain through which nerve cells talk to each other. Disturbances in this communication lead to various disorders and diseases of the nervous system, because altered synaptic proteins can weaken this complex molecular mechanism. This condition can be mild, but it can also manifest itself with very serious disabilities. Langenen and Heckman came across in one of the scientific publications information about a mutation that damages the synaptic protein, which deprives affected people of the ability to see. These patients attracted the attention of neurobiologists because the mutation not only caused blindness, but also significantly increased their intelligence. Very rarely. A mutation leads to an improvement rather than a loss of function, says Langenen. The authors of the new publication have been using the dwarf weed, a popular fruit fly, for years to analyze synaptic functions. Three quarters of the disease causing genes in humans are also found in fruit flies. Our research project was to insert the mutation we noticed into the appropriate gene and use techniques such as electrophysiology to test what then happens to the synapses. We assumed that the mutation made patients so smart because it improved communication between neurons. Of course, you can't make similar measurements of synapses in the brains of patients. For that, you need to use animal models, explains Langenen. The researchers used fruit flies to test their assumptions. Neuroscientists introduced mutations into the fly genome that looked exactly like humans with mutations in synaptic proteins. They then measured synaptic activity. We observed that animals with the mutation showed a significantly increased transmission of information in the synapses. This amazing mutation effect on fly synapses is likely experienced in the same or similar way in humans and could explain their enhanced cognitive performance, but also their blindness. Langenen points out, scientists have also discovered how increased synaptic transmission occurs. The molecular components in the nerve cell that trigger synaptic impulses approach each other through a mutation effect and lead to increased release of neurotransmitters. The researchers used very high-resolution imaging methods in their research. With this tool, we were able to look at and even count individual molecules and confirm that those in the transmission cell are closer together than usual, says Langenen. The project beautifully demonstrates how an unusual model animal, such as the fruit fly, can be used for a very deep understanding of diseases of the human brain. Animals are genetically very similar to humans. An estimated 75% of the disease-related genes in humans are also found in the fruit fly, explains Langenen. Shape-shifting micro-robots will help us brush and floss our teeth. Shape-shifting swarms of micro-robots could one day function as a toothbrush, mouthwash and dental floss all rolled into one. 
technology developed by a team at the University of Pennsylvania has the potential to offer a new, automated way to perform the mundane but vital daily tasks of brushing and flossing. It is a system that can be especially valuable for those who lack the manual dexterity to be able to effectively clean their teeth on their own. The micro-robots are made of iron oxide nanoparticles that exhibit both catalytic and magnetic activity. Using a magnetic field, researchers can direct their movement and shape to form either brush-like structures or elongated strings that can slip between teeth-like floss. In both cases, the catalytic reaction drives the nanoparticles to produce germicides. Experiments using the new system on human teeth have shown that robotic swarms can adapt to different shapes to effectively eliminate biofilm-forming bacteria that lead to cavities and gum disease. The invention is described in the journal, ACS Nano. Routine oral care is cumbersome and can be challenging for many people, especially those who have difficulty brushing their teeth, said study co-author Professor Hyun Ku. A specialist in orthodontics at Community Oral Health and Pediatric Dentistry at Penn School of Dental Medicine. We have to brush our teeth, floss and then rinse our mouth. This is a manual, multi-step process. The big innovation is that the robotic system can perform all three activities in one automated way and without the use of hands, explains the researcher. Nanoparticles can be shaped and controlled by magnetic fields in surprising ways, says study co-author Edward Steger of Penn School of Engineering and Applied Science. We create bristles that can stretch, sweep and even move back and forth in space, very much like threading. The system can be programmed to automatically shape the nanoparticles and control their movement, he explains. The design of the toothbrush has remained relatively unchanged over the millennia, says Ku. Now that may change. Research groups at both Penn Dental Medicine and Penn Engineering were interested in iron oxide nanoparticles, but for different reasons. Ku was intrigued by the catalytic activity of the nanoparticles. These can activate the hydrogen peroxide, releasing free radicals that can kill bacteria that cause tooth decay. Meanwhile, Steger and his fellow engineers were studying the same nanoparticles as building blocks for magnetically controlled micro-robots. Now, these two applications have been brought together in one paper by constructing a platform to electromagnetically control micro-robots, allowing them to assume different shapes and release antibacterial agents to effectively treat and clean teeth. It doesn't matter if we have straight teeth or misaligned teeth. Our invention will adapt to different surfaces, says Ku. The system can reach all the nooks and crannies in the oral cavity, he adds. Researchers have optimized the movements of micro-robots on a small plate of tooth-like material. They then tested their performance to the complex topography of the tooth surface interproximal surfaces and gum line using tooth models. Finally, they tried the micro-robots on real human teeth, which were mounted in such a way as to mimic the position of the teeth in the mouth. On these different surfaces, the researchers found that the micro-robot system could effectively eliminate bacteria, clearing them of all detectable pathogens. Iron oxide nanoparticles have already been approved by regulators for other uses, and animal tests have shown that they did not harm gum tissue. The entire system is fully programmable. The team's robotics and engineers used changes in the magnetic field to fine-tune the movements of the micro-robots, as well as control the stiffness and length of the fabricated structures. According to the researchers, thanks to the customization of the system, it can be gentle enough for clinical use, but also personalized. Able to adapt to the unique topographies of the patient's oral cavity. Currently, 
The Pen team is continuing to optimize the robotic movements and is considering different ways to deliver them through mouth fit devices.